This video is presented by EA Creator Network. Hi guys, welcome to Simproved, Try speaking here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 Speed Builds. Today we are going to build another Growing Together Early Access Family Home. This is the second one I could do during Early Access. And if you hear me a little bit um, nasal, more than usual, it's because over the night I got terribly sick. <laughs> I'm dying, guys. Anyways, I really tried to power through of this uh, voiceover, but um, yeah, as you can see, this is early access. There is the little improved name tag jumping all over the place. And yeah, so I want to thank again EA, of course, for granting me early access. And uh, like I said, this is the second house. I actually Pinterested this one. I was like, okay, where are floor plans? I know that lots of these American houses, especially in the 50s, 40s, um, were catalog houses, right? And I thought these floor plans are actually kind of well thought out for family gameplay or just in general the layout. Why not do that, you know? Look this up. And this was one that I thought was decently sized. It's not very, very huge. But you will have um, a master bedroom and two other bedrooms, maybe for the children. In my case, it's a children's bedroom and a nursery upstairs. And you will have two and a half bathrooms. So in my opinion, this is a very decent kind of family house when you just started your own Sims family or you created some of your infants and children for your Sims family and want to have like a decently sized house. Again, there is a carport because I always think this is so American. <laughs> you, we need that. And there's also the side entrance that I did on the other house as well, because that's apparently a thing. And I also want to thank all of the Americans came coming through in the comment section of the other house where I was like, is the side entrance to the carport or garage like a thing? And they were all like, yeah, I mean, of course. <laughs> I just have to say that in Europe, my family and so on, they all have like freestanding houses and I think none of them have like a carport or to the garage an extra leading door maybe a side door through the front garden if that makes sense it's a little bit tricky anyways I think it's interesting that we have so many access points to the house kind of also makes it for gameplay always in general way better so yeah as you can see we have two stories. We go with the craftsman style again, with lots of corbels, overhanging eaves, the lots of the wooden, you know, details on the front porch, etc. And this time I even used the treehouse, which is a very, very large object. I even couldn't make my sim build this one, but I'm pretty sure there are other EA creators that had early access that made them work. I think in my review I already said that I like the idea of a tree house, of course, but the trees are kind of very distinct for, for this type of uh, world. What about if you want to place this in, let's just say, Oasis Springs, for example? I think maybe there should be some variations in the trees that are used here. I had lots of fun with roofing again. Sorry, <laughs> it's so hard for me to talk. I definitely, after I've done this video and edited this video, I will lay back, you know, go back to my deathbed. I really hope that you can still follow me. But yeah, in the interior, we go with the darker woods as well. Because I love the, the Grafton houses, the interiors I've seen. I personally always a sucker for the old timey stuff. First of all, because I always think it has way more flair. And vibe I don't know how you would call it these days and I also think yeah it's just better than the white and beige you know <laughs> I can't do the white and beige there are some cool building objects with this pack that are modern but I think I'm gonna use them on the recreation center once the pack is out which will be out today by the way if you're watching this on the 16th of March <sighs> I have to gasp for air okay so yeah, in the, this is a very open, big living room. We have some side paneling 
and I'm going to use this throughout the whole house again because I think it looks cool. And you have a little um, dining nook. The chair on the left side on the back is not functional. Your sims can't reach it. I'm sorry for that. But then again, you can just put a smaller table. <laughs> sorry, I'm cast required. It's so hard just to talk. But yeah, I try to use as many, of course, growing together objects and from the infant update that you guys already all have by now. And I think we go with like white and the, the, the brownish colors here, which I think it looks nice. It looks like, um, you know, eclectic a little bit with lots and lots of different stuff from different, I would say, styles and centuries. But this kind of adds to the whole vibe that this is like a family house that has been in, you know, family ownership for quite some time. And they all added their own little knickknacks around the house, you know, over the time. And I really like this. Kitchen again is decently sized, has a new stove, has a new fridge. Yeah, it's really hard to do this. Okay, um, and then we have, you know, it's... The kitchen is next to the dining area, so layout-wise, I think that was a good choice. Definitely during gameplay, it all worked fine, but I only tested this with one sim this time. It was a little bit hard to come up with stuff because I was running out of time during early access. And it was, I think this was finished like 30 minutes before early access was revoked. So I was like rushing through. So downstairs we have the master bedroom. And yeah, we have only like one big bed and one new um, closet and stuff like that. So it was kind of like a no-brainer what to put in there. The swatches are all, yeah, I mean they are all fitting to this, like I said, this wooden paneling. I really like that. Sorry. I think it looks grand. I couldn't do modern. I also don't know how to do modern with these with these objects, to be honest. I think like the more eclectic and added throughout the centuries or like decades more makes more sense for that kind of family home. And then upstairs I did the nursery. I just thought that's like a very cute little nook there because you know lots of people will play with infants and babies now all stuff that i've never done and i'm honestly dreading i want to try it out maybe but i'm not sure like they stress me out the kids the, I, I guess i will have to play without sound because when they are crying it's just oh no i can't can we kill it? Oh yeah, and you can't even kill the kids, right? Like, you can't kill them. Isn't that like a thing in The Sims, where you can't kill the kid? I would love to, though. And I I don't know if there's a cheat to itch and up right away. I think I need that cheat if I tried if I tried this. <laughs> Otherwise, either way, I need a cheat to kill them, or I need a cheat, a cheat to make them a teen or something useful. A useful life stage. <laughs> But yeah, so we go with like forest kind of, uh, no, we go with like desert. I thought like desert, sun, lots of white in the nursery. We, we did go with jungle and trees and forest theme in the other house that I've already built. I will put them all in like a, in the comment section, all the videos I've done. It's like two reviews and one other bigger family house, uh, a home, house, home, whatever. And yeah, we have a bunk bed, so you can even have up to two children sleeping there. I mean, also teens can sleep in these beds, so... Uh, yeah, that would be interesting if you really want to play with like this. Um, I never used the new curtains because I always... The pom-poms irritated me. The pom-poms is like circus or something. It's a little bit weird. I don't know. You have probably already seen the new curtains by now and they're irritating me where is this normal to have these pom-poms on your curtains i don't know i thought it's um more of a children's kind of circus curtain. <laughs> but yeah upstairs there's also like a bigger bathroom because we have two bedrooms there with two sinks even and yeah 
that's basically the whole build guys i really hope that you like this one sorry that you guys had to hear me like this as always i want to thank you so so much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye